Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster Ram. So, this is going to be a breeding event monster, so free to play. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an analysis today. Um, so we're gonna see whether this monster is good or not. So, I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see, we got Ram here. It's kind of like an alien, it gives some alien vibes and stuff like that. Um, I wonder what the so it is a breeding event monster, right? So, it's gonna be free to play. Uh, it's actually a blossom. All right, I see. So this is a blossom mythic monster. You guys know there's gonna be a new era, most likely next uh, season. So I kind of was thinking whether or not if it's actually a blossom monster or not. But anyways, I'm not gonna read this. But if you wanna go ahead and pause and read, you can. This was posted by Darth, aka the community manager of the game, so it is official. Anyways, too slow. One of the skill names. It applies guard down possession to an enemy, gives one extra turn to a tough. Okay. Sadly, there's no PR with that, so. Uh, it's gonna be have it's gonna have to be an open base for you to actually line that possession and guard down Hopefully the enemy's not immune to control or possession um, But the guard one guard down actually comes in as well, which is actually not that bad. So that's a bonus Then you also have the spread skill which is a low metal damage to one enemy applies native virus to one enemy possession to all enemies Okay All right, we have an AoE possession apparently with native virus uh, Native virus could come in handy because it blocks positive status effects Slow down. All right, deals low metal damage to all enemies. Actually, it's cooler on all enemies, and it's it's an AOE CDA. Uh, then we have a data overload, which is a moderate metal damage to one enemy. Actually, it's cooldown on one enemy. Applies nano virus to one enemy. Requires cooldown. All right, so CDA and nano virus is a single target. So it's basically a um, mix of the spread skill with the other, except the spread comes with possession as well. This one doesn't. Uh, but it's basically a mix of cooldown and nano virus to one enemy. Uh, not to everybody sadly but skill wise not really a huge fan of honestly um i don't see this monster being used in the meta um too much maybe here and there yeah but i don't know i don't see this monster being used too much uh but take a look at this i do like this says because they're torture torture immunity that actually just caught me off guard i like that um sadly it's not a trite but says because the torture immunity could come in handy um, then you have True Vision to all allies as well, which is uh, actually a trade. I like that. You meet a possession, really comes in handy. Um, so I like these two, but possession immunity could have been something else, could have been better. All right, so you guys could go ahead and see the stats here as well. I see there's 14,288 speed, okay, 24,336 power, and then 372,130 life. Interesting. Um, so. Again, trait wise could have been better, but I do like the rank one and rank three. But other than that, he's actually in the mechanical book. There's also good legions and spirits, so you have three books for team wars. Not bad. It's actually a metal monster. Um, he kind of gives me vibes of that one monster that applies CDA and stuff uh, back in Metro era. Forgot the name of him. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. Um, he used to like apply CDA and stuff like that. Kind of gives me vibes or reels it's just that it comes with possession as bonus something that he couldn't do but um yeah i i like the status because of torture immunity i wish it was like a t everybody you know the torture immunity would have been for everybody that would have made this monster be more usable honestly and fit more in the meta but anyways let's go ahead and check out the relic slot so amulet and sn i like that i should like the relics there i like the books relics I like the traits as well, except the immune to possession. Um, so this one's debatable. I don't know if this monster is going to be in the meta, honestly. I honestly don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But um, take a look at this one. Uh, one of the skill is a low, very low special damage when an enemy applies guard down to an enemy. It has zero cooldown, 28 stamina cost. Then you have fast reading, which is a precision and torture immunity to itself. Zero cooldown, zero damage, and 24 stamina cost. You have a low special damage to all enemies, applies guard down to all enemies. I don't think anybody's gonna run that. Then you have a low metal damage and nanovirus to one enemy. Those are one turn cooldown to one's 36 stamina, cause the other one's 34. Interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, that one extra turn skill that he has, not that bad. I'll take a look at the ultimate. The ultimate apparently gives one extra turn to itself too. It deals moderate metal damage to one enemies, to all enemies actually. And then CDA comes as well with nanovirus. Okay. Um, what made what would have made this monster really good was like if he had PR trade disable. Those things would have been really really nice. Um, he would have been definitely a meta, but sadly he doesn't have those. He's missing those. So you're gonna need another monster title taken the first turn. 
you know, removing pause of satisfaction, trade disabling, you know, opening the path for this monster, and then he can go ahead and start denying. But um, I would honestly continue using Raris for those of you guys that have Raris use it he's kind of like a knocked off version of raris to be honest if you think about it literally knocked off version of raris <laughs> so <laughs> not really a huge fan of this monster but you guys can leave me in the comments down below what you think of him um but in terms of runes if you're thinking about giving any runes of course if you're gonna start running this monster uh the best thing to do would be to do triple speed or two speed one team speed or two team speed one speed or even triple team speed just make sure that this monster takes in second turn uh, if the base isn't open for you. So for example, if the enemy has dodge area, has taunt and stuff like that, then you're gonna need another monster like for example Shadow Nia that can remove positive status effect, trade disable, trade disable again, and then you can also turn transfer over to this monster, or you don't even have to turn transfer, you can just charge up or something, and this monster will take over from there. Um, because again, remember, even though Shadow Nia can trade disable, you know, Let's say you don't want to turn transfer back to Shadow Nia. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, basically this monster has access to that too slow skill, which gives itself an extra turn while you're possessing the enemy with guard down. So yeah, uh, that way your other skills will definitely land. So th there's some things you can do. Um, I would say it's probably best to pair it up with Shadow Nia because Shadow Nia could do a lot. But something that would actually mess that up would be Shock Beast or just Shock in general. Another thing would be if, um, let's say, the enemy has Anticipation, yeah, especially if it's not an open base Anticipation, <laughs> so you gotta watch out for things like that. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy today's Monster Gens monster analysis, let me in the comments below what you guys think about this monster. Um, again, I think it's kind of like a knocked up version of Raris, if you have Raris, continue using it you don't gotta worry about this monster just get it for collection purposes but if you don't have raris i guess you can go ahead and get him and then you can decide whether you want to invest in him or not i will be doing my review very soon on this monster so you guys make sure you subscribe all right so you don't miss out on that anyways i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe anyways i'll see you guys in the next one peace out